guys, we got the Kawasaki running. All it was is just the timing. So the guy who previously owned this bike, I guess he had the timing all messed up, but we actually took it up and down the block the other day. Uh, apparently it only has four gears and uh, this thing fucking rips. But today we are going to throw some clear over all the parts. All the areas that has not been touched by the sun is blue. Underneath the seats, still blue. This cover right here on the bottom, it's blue. Uh, for now, we're going to sand down all the old clear coat, and give it new clear, and hopefully that'll just make it look a little bit cleaner, you know what I mean? So, that's the plan for today's video. A lot of things has happened since I was gone. I think the last time I posted was like three weeks ago. We are actually adding tinting and PPF to the detailing services. Uh, I'm still in training right now, so I'm not offering the services just yet, but once I do, uh, I'll let you guys know. If you guys wanna support the business, hit me up. Uh, another thing, the old detailing van is going away. I actually got an upgrade. We picked up a 2011 Transit, which is at home right now. I'll show you guys maybe tomorrow. It's parked in my apartment garage and it's really dark in there, so I can't really show you guys, but finally getting an upgrade. It's kind of embarrassing going around and detailing in this, but you know what, guys? Every mobile detailer has started from somewhere, you know, but uh, I'll show you guys the Transit when I get home. Anyways, back to the Kawasaki. As you guys can see, kickstart, first try, it starts. I don't think I have time today to pull out the rear fender because I kind of got to go somewhere, but at least what we can do is clear coat this and clear coat this. It rides just like a sport bike, so I thought it was like a cafe racer. So actually, I've never been on a cafe racer, so I don't want to know. The only bikes I've ever ridden was that R6 over there and then uh, and a Harley. And this thing rides just like a just like the R6. All right guys, so we're heading to Johnny's house. I'm not too sure if you guys met Johnny yet, but he works at Eliminate with us. Remember the E30 that was on this channel? I picked up that E30 from his cousin, and it turns out the E30 had just way too many issues, so I was like, you know what, I'll just return it back to him. And then his cousin gave it to him, so he's just been working on it. He's pulling out the motor right now. Actually, no, I think he has the motor out right now. And he's gonna throw something else in there, I forgot. We'll ask him when we get there, but we're gonna head to his house to work on the bike. So we're gonna go hang out with him today. Uh, also, it's Friday. I think I'm gonna stop by the liquor store, grab a drink or something like that. Once we get there. It's been a really busy week. I've been detailing all week. Been working on Eliminate all week. Really don't have time to make YouTube videos anymore. But hopefully, once the detailing picks up, uh, I can just 100% do that and I'll have more time vlogging, I don't know, but detailing is my priority right now. When I started detailing like three years ago, I didn't think I would go this far. I thought it was just gonna be like a weekend thing. You know, make some extra money on this weekend, but you know, as I kept on going, like I learned about new services that I could add to the business. Because uh, we started with just like interior cleaning and exterior cleaning, the basics, the premium package, you know. And then I got into paint correction. And then I got into ceramic coating. Now I'm getting into tint and PPF. It just, the list goes on. And a lot of people are asking me if I can wrap, uh, if I wrap cars. And you guys know how it is with wrap. I, uh, or you guys know how I am with wrap. I, I fucking hate it. I mean, I feel like if I really practice, I would... If I really practice, I would get it down, but I don't know if I'm ever going to add wrapping to my services. But who knows? We'll see. But main priority right now is the tin, the PPF. I have a certificate for PPF, but I feel like the demand for tin is just so high right now. And then, like, not a lot of people are going to spend that much money on PPF, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people, there's there's like an economic crisis going on right now and I don't think people are willing to spend that kind of money. Because a whole, like to PPF a whole car, like let's say a, like a Tesla, it's like seven, eight thousand uh, dollars. Just the front end is gonna be like two to three thousand, something like that. that. At least that's the prices over here. Uh, but definitely I'm gonna get the tent down, uh, I'm trying to get it down by this month. I give myself two months to get the tinting down. Uh, I wanna make sure I'm really good at it first before I even offer the service. So I give myself two months, but I'm pretty sure I'll get it down in one month. And then uh, after two months, uh, then I can start focusing on PPO. What's up, What's up? <laughs> What are you doing? Taking off the front bumper, but I don't know where the bumpers are. All right, you guys remember this E30? Oh, dude, it's <laughs> construction. So this was on the channel for like one video. And Johnny took it back? 
Yep. Yep. I yep. sold the engine that was in there. Uh huh. I'm gonna do an M52 swap. So it's a six, six cylinder from E36. I already have the tranny for it. And the Z3 steering rack upgrade. So if you guys want to follow his channel, learn something, or just be a part of the journey, uh, his YouTube will be, well, what's your YouTube channel? Johnny M2. Johnny M2. Yep. So I guess right now, what are you doing your... Uh, well, I'm gonna take off the front bumper, the fenders, the side skirts, because I'm gonna make a removable core support. Um, just to make it easier down the line when I do like a, when I put the engine in there. Okay. Damn, hella organized. Dude, I just did that right now. <laughs> Everything was a mess, dude. Alright, well, I should go get my stuff. Yeah, and then we gotta stop by AutoZone and, huh? For once, I'm actually labeling shit. <laughs> All these bolts and shit. Nice. Yeah. That's something I never did. Yeah, no, and, I know. And I suffered from it. I learned, yeah. <laughs> it's brand new? Or just, I'm making it right now. Do you, so you just cleaned it or what? Well, new seals. New, uh, Why does it look like brand new? Oh, it looks brand new. I'm gonna paint it in with this. Oh, oh. <laughs> damn. I have a question for the engineer of this uh, gas tank or whoever designed this gas tank. So, as you guys can see, the pickhawk's on one side. If I'm on half tank, how does the gas go from this side of the tank to this side of the tank? Do I just lean and I'll just get some more gas, or what were they thinking? Because, seriously, look. How does gas get onto the other side? What? Like, am I stupid, or it just doesn't make sense, right? Mm -mm. You are stupid, don't you? Maybe, I don't know. Alright, well, we got everything prepped up. All I gotta do now is give it a wet sand, get rid of all this flaking clear coat, and then we could throw some... 2k on it. Oh fuck. Oh, what the fuck. Cheers guys, happy Friday. Change of plans. This clear coat is just chipping off. Uh, the original plan was to keep this bike as original as possible, but um but now full send. Yeah, but uh for now let's just let's just change it up because yeah I actually made it worse. So this is gonna be black and orange this piece right here might just be um i'll do uh let's do this let's do all orange and this top piece right here we can have it black and then the rear fender uh we'll do the same thing um i don't have the fender with me right now so um we can look at it tomorrow You guys see that little overspray right there? You know how I'm gonna fix that? I'm gonna eliminate decal and just put it right there. Not bad. It looks it, it looks OEM, dude. Let's uh let's see if the other side looks the same. This side, except for that. This side looks good ex except for that. But this line, this line's a little weird. It's it, it's like thick in the middle. I think it gets smaller towards the end. On the other side, it's just pretty even the whole way. You guys have to admit, this does look way better than before. But let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love it. I love the color I chose. Well, this is not really the color I chose, but 
this is the best color or the closest color that they have to what I wanted and it turned out really nice so uh, later tonight we're gonna head to the Fremont shop and throw this back onto the bike That's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to show you guys. Here's the transit.